wait a minute, you can't have a you can't have a YouTube video nowadays. That you know some sort of RGB in the background, right, Maria? You gotta have some sort of RGB. For the last ooh, almost year, everyone's been talking about the new consoles that have been coming out. Not everybody. Some people are PC master race dweebs and don't appreciate a good console game, which I appreciate both. I have my gaming PC. I also have my PS5. I also have my little Xbox X Xbox. Xbox Xbox. And I got my, my Switch. So I'm very fortunate enough. I'm a huge nerd. There you go. Nerd confirmed. Um today we're actually gonna talk about this bad boy because everyone's kind of been asking me about it the last little bit because all of these huge games are you know coming out on Game Pass and all of these monster game titles are being released over the next couple of months. Everybody knows about a lot of the PlayStation games that are coming out because that's what PlayStation is known for. PlayStation is super known for all of their first party games, but I actually get weirdly asked in my Discord, they slide in my DMs a lot, uh, if buying a new Xbox console is worth it. I've actually been talking to my brother about it as well the last little bit because he bought himself an Xbox Series X and I bought myself an Xbox Series S. I bought the baby one because um, I go strictly digital anyway, so there was really no need for me to, you know, try something else. In short, should you buy an Xbox right now? No. No, you no, you really shouldn't. It doesn't make much sense right now. Um, an Xbox Series S is three hundred dollars. An Xbox Series X is five hundred dollars. You could go build your own gaming PC for seven hundred dollars. And you're right, that's two hundred dollars more, Justin. I smart. But the difference is Xbox actually doesn't give a shit or Microsoft doesn't give a shit if you buy their console. They just want you to buy Game Pass. So if you're going to ask me if you should get an Xbox to get Game Pass, then yes. Like if you don't have a PC that can run Game Pass games, then absolutely go buy an Xbox. You don't, in my opinion, you don't need the X unless you want all those pretty hard copies. Yeah, actually, that, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to have to say, you should go do this and go do that. Uh, I will say that, like, the, 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 con the, you know, the controller hasn't changed at all. Very, very little. Um, the D-pad is nice. I hope that noise isn't coming through in the background. It sounds like I'm farting. Uh, but with all that being said, you don't really need an Xbox. What you need is to go get Game Pass because they have... I don't know, a hundred plus games on there. Games are coming free over on Xbox Game Pass that aren't quote unquote free. That aren't free on PlayStation. It's twenty not even twenty, it's fifteen dollars a month to get it on PC and Xbox, and it's ten dollars, I think, just to get it on Xbox. So it's insane. So if you have no way of getting Game Pass, then it might actually be worth investing. But let's say like financially, if you're really tight on money, Xbox is probably the way to go to get more bang for your buck. No, you're not getting God of War and you're not getting, you know, Bloodborne or Horizon Zero Dawn. And those are great games, I'll be honest. And we'll talk about PlayStation maybe next week or two. But um, as for Xbox, you get the console for 300. You get already 100 games that are on there. You get games like Ori, you get all the old Halo games, you get Psychonauts 2, which is now straight up loaded to it as well, on top of every free down, you know, every free battle royale that's there to play. It is fast. It does come with a lot of nice features as well. Um, the nice feature is the quick resume with the new Xbox. So if you're playing The Witcher, which is on Xbox, and you just decide to, hey, I want to go play Apex with my brother, you can cut it go right over start apex and when you're done doing a few rounds of a playing apex with my brother because he's probably there you can pop back over to the witcher and you, you will lose no time i'm still playing cuphead from a file that i started four months ago and the quick resume still has going so that feature is really nice it takes no load time maybe i think it may be eight seconds transitioning from one game to the next and that's that's the thing that I love most about it is just how smooth and easy the console is to work. Not something I can say for this, and definitely not something I can usually say for Nintendo. Like Nintendo's inner workings of certain things are usually a bit tricky. And I'd actually say that working that into the Xbox is smoother than me doing stuff on PC. Yes, I can absolutely play a game and have a second window open and even a third window open, and I can play an emulator while I'm doing something else. But 
when all that's going on, if I just want to switch over completely and load up a new game, it, it, it's not as... I, can, I can't just turn my PC off and oftentimes I can pop back on and Cuphead's going to be at the exact same spot it was four months ago. Um, it's a really nice feature. And you can do that with Game Pass games as well. So if someone asked me to buy an Xbox, I would absolutely say no if you have a okay PC. And if you were going to save up and you said, you know what, I'm going to save up for this and I'm saving up six months, I would say uh, save up seven months and go buy a gaming PC if you can and try to maybe build your own because all of those games are going to come over to Game Pass there anyway. So now you get that plus an actual computer plus the ability to play other games and usually your gaming PC is going to run it the best way that it possibly could. If you don't do that though, absolutely go buy one if you can't get an Xbox. But if you have an Xbox One already, don't touch it. There's no need to. Yeah, you have to wait a little bit longer right now and it's it's a convenient thing to not have to wait. But to be honest with you, I had an Xbox One and I'm kind of regretting getting rid of it. Also, Game Pass it really comes out with these cool games like I Am Fish, which looks really cute, but also infuri infuriating. I'm a piranha. <laughs> You can go ahead and edit that out. If you could buy an Xbox, uh, just save up for a PC. There's really no reason. And if you want, really want an Xbox, then by all means go for it. But I would say that both me and my brother kind of regret getting it. As for the PlayStation, it's been about a year and you can't find any of these fuckers anyway. So um, we'll talk about that maybe in the next week or two. I got nothing else to say. So as always, um, take care of yourself and the person next to you. Oh, and if you do like this hoodie, we'll leave a link down below. There is some merch down there as well. But um, coffee cups and will you stop farting? I don't know if you can hear that, by the way. If you can't, great. If you can, I apologize. If you like this hoodie, you can absolutely go grab it down in the links down below as well. There is, you know, cups and hoodies and all that other shit. I kind of did it as a joke and the people started really buying it. So I was really surprised. Um, have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and the person next to you. Bye, guys.